Hey, Hawthorne Bears. I've got a special Esta mystery today for you. Today's is geared towards uh, grades kindergarten and first grade. So for some of you, you've never seen an Esta mystery before, but I want you to put your number detective hats on and let's see if we can solve this puzzle. So this one, again, I always want to start out by thanking Steve Wyborny for creating these puzzles. His website's right here, www.stevewhiteborney.com, if you ever want to check out more of his resources. And this estimistry is called More Pieces Than You Can See. So we're gonna start out. I want you to take a look at that glass. There's pieces of foam in it. How many pieces of foam do you think there are? And I just want you to estimate, because I guarantee you there's some that you can't see. So go ahead. Take a look, and I want you to tell somebody in your room how many pieces of foam you think are there. Do you have your guess? Okay, now what's going to happen is I'm going to give you some clues. And as you get clues, that's called new information. And as you get new information, you can fine-tune your estimate to see if you can get closer and closer to how many pieces of foam there are. So I'm going to give you a total of four clues, and then to help you out, we have a number track down here, which is like a number line. It goes from one to 20. And as we come across numbers, or as we get clues and new information, we can cross out some of these numbers to help us find the right um, answer. So let's look at clue number one. Clue number one says there are more than nine pieces and you can't see all the pieces. So if you counted them up, just from what you can see, there it's gonna be more than what you can see because you can't see all the pieces. But we know there's more than nine. Now, if I look at a number line or a number track, here's nine. Some, if we have more than nine, it means it's gotta be on this side because these numbers are more than nine. And so we should cross out the numbers one through nine because they're not more than nine. Okay, now we've grayed them out. So now we have 11 numbers left. Let's take a look at the second clue. Oh, and before we do that, if you had guessed one of those numbers we just grayed out, I want you to use that information that you just got and come up with a new estimate. Do you have your new estimate? Go ahead and share with somebody in the room what your new estimate is or write it down. All right, now let's go back to clue number two. Clue number two says there are less than 16 pieces. So where's the number 16? That's right, it's right here. Here's number 16. Now, if it's less than 16, does that mean it can be 17 or 18? No, because those are greater than 16. So we know less is gonna be on this side of the number line. So we should gray out 16 through 20 since those are gonna be 16 or more. That leaves us with six numbers. Now again, we have some new information. So if we shaded out your number, go ahead and fine tune your estimate based on the new information you have. And if you do update your estimate, go ahead and share with somebody or write it down what your new estimate is. Okay, let's look at clue number three. Clue number three says the answer is not 10 or 11. So I look on my number line here and I see here's 10 and here's an 11. So if it's not 10 or 11, we should cross those two out. Okay, now that leaves us with just four numbers left. Did we cross out one of your numbers? If so, go ahead, use that new information and update your estimate. All right, you ready for the final clue? The answer is not 13 or 14. So I look on my number track here. Here's 13 and here's 14. These numbers have a one in the tens place, and in this case, a three in the ones place or a four in the ones place. So it's not 13 or 14, so I'm gonna shade those ones too. That leaves me with two numbers. Did we cross out your number? If so, that's okay. You've got more information, fine tune your estimate. So now, 
I want you to think with all the information that we have, it's going to either be a 12 or a 15. Look at the glass and estimate, estimate what you think it's going to be. And I want you to write that number down, whether it's 12 or 15. And I want you to tell somebody what it is. And I want you to explain why you think it is. So if you think it's 12, why do you think it's 12? If you think it's 15, why do you think it's 15? So go ahead and take 15 seconds and tell somebody why you chose that number. All right, Hawthorne Bears, are you ready for the moment of truth? All right, let's see, was it 12 or 15? It was 12, there are 12 pieces of foam in that glass. Is that what you got? Great, and if not, that's okay too. We go through this so we can build our estimation skills. I'm gonna be posting some more of these throughout the week. I hope you enjoyed your estimistry. Really miss seeing you guys and can't wait to see you back in school. See you guys.